When you think of animals, what comes to mind? You might think of your dog, the turkeys you see wandering around your neighborhood, or a koala at the zoo. But let's dive a little deeper. Think of what goes on in an animal's mind. In our society, animals are thought to be morally inferior to humans. Now consider this. What if some animals have moral reasoning? Moral reasoning helps guide us to determine right and wrong. It allows us to decide what we should do when we're faced with certain situations. It helps us determine whether our decisions benefit ourselves or a larger group. You might be thinking that animals aren't smart enough to tell the difference between right and wrong, but research shows some animals, dogs, elephants, dolphins, non-human primates, and rats care about others and may be guided by some moral reasoning. For example, in 1996, a three-year-old boy fell into a gorilla enclosure at the Brookfield Zoo in Brookfield, Illinois. A gorilla named Binti Jua rescued the baby by dragging him to safety where zoo employees could get to him. In an incident in New Zealand, bottlenose dolphins began circling a group of swimmers. At first, the swimmers didn't realize what was going on. Then, they realized the dolphins were protecting them from sharks. In a study, rats were presented with two containers, one holding chocolate and another holding a different rat. Most of the time, the rats chose to free the trapped rat rather than eat the chocolate. Sometimes, I wonder if some of my classmates would have chosen helping a friend over chocolate. When a stray dog was hit by a car on a Chilean freeway, another stray rescued the first dog and dragged the stray to safety. Dogs also comfort people by resting their heads on people's laps and whimpering or licking them. Elephants also seem to show compassion. They bond, have friends, and even mourn their dead. Animals have shown fairness as well. For instance, in play, dogs stand on their hind legs while their front legs are on the ground. This is called a play bow. We know that this indicates they're inviting another dog to play. But did you know that it can also be used to apologize? It's like they're saying, I'm sorry I bit you so hard. Can we continue playing? So what does this mean? I've talked a lot about the great things animals have done, but it can't be ignored that animals do bad things as well. They can murder each other and their young. However, humans do despicable things too. They can murder too. They can be selfish among many other things. And somehow we still have moral reasoning. Yet you could still argue that we can't read animals' minds. So we can't know for sure whether they have moral reasoning. And you would be right. We can't see into animals' minds and they can't speak to us. But we know they're sentient, that they have feelings, despite humans' and animals' inability to communicate with each other. We certainly didn't figure that out by having a conversation with them. So maybe they do have moral reasoning. Maybe there is another extension to their sentience that we didn't see before. Moral reasoning helps us determine what is right and what is wrong. Dogs elephants, dolphins, primates, and rats are all animals that have shown moral reasoning. Dogs are empathetic and apologetic. Elephants are compassionate. Dogs, primates, rats, and dolphins are altruistic. 
Maybe we can learn more from them and the traits we've seen them display.